What is up guys and welcome back to another raid challenges video with me the real deal so today we are going to put in 106 mortal soul stones it takes me about four to six weeks to get this many you have to save them up but where does a free to play end game player get them all from well i'll just quickly show you so um hydra is a really good place um so you get them from the chests so you can get sort of like i don't know six to eight a week from there and then basically any sort of events or um, tournaments, um, I'm just going to go for any, like if I see that there's Immortal Soul Stones up for grab, I'm going for it. And then the other place is Iron Twins. So, you, you know, you don't want to be doing this too early in the game, but when you sort of get, sort of when you're transitioning mid to late game, you do want to start farming stage 15 every day. So now we've looked at where you can get them from. Let's start pulling. Uh, there's so many soul stones that I want, so hopefully we get something tasty. And I've been really unlucky with my void pools. I didn't get anything. So hopefully this is a little bit better. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh my god. Gamoran is one of the worst champions in the game. Right now, he is not used any content. And is that six or five? One, two, three, six stars. What a waste. Um, just trash. I mean, he may get a buff in the future, but right now, you know, he's not someone that I don't think anyone's really using. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> Virgo Makar. Just, oh, just another unused champion. Unwanted, unused, just trash. Oh, we've already run out of space. All right, I do apologize. Let's quickly make some space. And we're back. So we've got 76 to go. Let's get some for some champions I actually want and champions I actually use or have. Okay. So Rector Draft, she is pretty decent, to be honest. Um, you can use her in loads of content. The only thing I don't like about her is she slows things down, really slows down your dungeon runs. But if you're sort of in that mid game and you're struggling, she will carry you. All right, here we go. Oh, my God. All right. So Rector I've pulled him recently. I'm not using him, but apparently he is a really hard hitting single target nuka. So he does have potential, but I'm not going to be using him. And no rog, pretty decent, but again, another champion I don't own. Romero, trash. Okay, nothing, nothing there, nothing to see. Come on. Okay, Master Butcher is decent, but you know, just he's just a rare. Uh, we want epics and legendaries only. And my goodness, nothing but trash. Let's keep it going. Okay. Um, Sand Flash Survivor is actually one of my favorite champions. Um, she's really awesome. Um, you can use her in Clan Boss. You could definitely get a two key Ultra Nightmare team out of her. Um, but she's also really good for the arena. I think really underrated. You can build some really interesting uh, defensive team comps with her. She's got a really cool passive where she basically puts block D, uh, sorry, block damage on herself and then ally protection on the rest of the team. Okay, Helior. He is an awesome champion as well. Like, I really like him. Really underrated. Um, really cool. So he's got passive where basically um, you can stack him with loads of resistance and then that increases his accuracy to the same amount of resistance that he has. Um, but also he can transfer debuffs from himself onto the enemy. So if he gets bombs put on him, he can just basically, you put him in stone skin and he's going to transfer all those bombs back to the enemy. Great, great champion. And we're already out of space again. Let's, uh, let's sort that out. Okay, we're down to our last 16 soul stones. And I just hope we get something really good. Um, I don't know, I'd love something for my nukas like Constantine and bump up his damage. It doesn't look like we're going to get it today, unfortunately. Um, yeah, not so good. I mean, Hycatoon is a great champion. I really like her. Great for arena, um, but also great for dungeons as well. You know, just boosting that turn meter is so important and be able to keep the team really nice and fast. She will carry you for a lot of content, especially early on in the game. And uh, do not underrate her. Hey, yeah, it looks like we're not going to get anything. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. 
good luck with your pulls. Uh, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe for more weekly content. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.